so today i have this really aggressive m4 a1 class setup and i do have other m4 class setups that i've covered as well so make sure to check those out if you haven't seen them yet i'll leave a clickable link on your screen that will take you to those videos let's get into the class setup so for our barrel we're going to be running the corvus custom marksman now the reason why i chose this one is because it gives us extra damage range bullet velocity as well as that recoil control now there are cons of aim down sight speed as well as movement speed but we do have other attachments that will mitigate those negatives all right so moving on to our optics so this is a bit of a personal preference i usually use the gi mini reflex but this time around i decided to go with the cronin lp 945 mini reflex and the sight is a little bit smaller than the gi mini reflex which i personally feel like maybe it's a placebo effect but i personally feel like it helps you zero in on your target that much easier and that's why i picked the cronin lp all right so next for our stock we're running the no stock attachment this is to give us more movement speed as well as aim down sight speed all right so for rear grip we're running that stippled grip tape it's going to give us that aim down sight speed as well as that sprint to fire speed helping us in those gunfights and get the jump on our enemies and lastly we've got on the 50 round magazine i definitely do feel a weight increase when i have on the 60 round mags that's why i chose to go with the 50 round mags and plus you know you don't really need that many rounds to be running with in the first place you know 50 rounds is sufficient enough in my opinion and another thing i will say about this class setup is that if you don't want an optic on there at all you can always remove the optic and always replace that with something like fully loaded because again we're playing aggressive here and we're most likely going to encounter multiple enemies at a time being out of ammo is the last thing you want to happen so that's why you should probably put fully loaded on your setup so next i'm going to be breaking down my gameplay and just explaining a playthrough step by step why i'm doing what i'm doing as well as offer some tips and tricks because not every gameplay is going to be the same every situation is going to be different so yeah guys drop a like on this video if these are the kind of videos that you want to continue to see on this channel that way i know that this is the content that you want me to bring to the table and subscribe if you're new around here man join turbo nation what are you waiting for man we're almost at 85,000 subscribers and i would love it if you guys would join turbo nation and make it official today turn on post notifications so you never miss another video and yeah i will see you guys in the gameplay peace all right and here we are we're playing on hackney yard the first thing i do is i push through the warehouse here and the first thing i'm going to do is going to keep an eye on those double doors which they just opened so that's going to be my cue to be ready for this gunfight as he takes out my teammate then i'm going to proceed to get on top of these barrels by the way this is my normal strategy that i always do every time i spawn in from that side of the map just so i can get a good vantage point and see where all of these enemies are coming in from because you always want to establish position at the start of every match and you want to make sure that you're at a better advantage versus the opponents and as you can see i did see some red footsteps there so that's my cue to go up here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow these footprints which lead me to the enemy now as you can see now this is a small minor detail that i do want to point out is that as soon as i saw these footsteps that's how i know that there's going to be an enemy around the other corner i mean it's just common sense at this point but I'm not just going to prance around the corner normally. I'm going to slide around the corner just in case he heard my movement. Because audio is so loud in this game, it's really easy to hear people's footsteps. Then I'm going to get a good vantage point out here. I'm just going to quickly glance, even though it's unlikely that there's going to be enemies there. Then I'm going to take a look at on top of the office. There's one enemy here and one enemy there. I'm going to quickly take him out. And I'm going to flee the scene as I stim shot myself and also take a look at the enemy spawn because that's where they're going to be coming in from. How do I know this? Because look at my mini map here. And as you can see, all my teammates are practically behind me right now. So that means that they must be spawning in here or they're around this area. So now that I've got my UAV, I'm going to call it in so that I can get some information and potentially take out some enemies that are not wearing ghost. But for the people who are wearing ghost on the opposite team, I am checking every line of sight and going back and forth between these stairs and also down this line of sight as well. Now, as you can see, there was an enemy running by and he was wearing ghost. Now, one little tip that I do want to give about this little scenario right here is that 
see where I'm positioned right now. I'm basically out of the enemy's line of sight. I'm not standing by the window. And by standing here, I'm able to see if enemies are coming up these stairs, which is going to give me an advantage to get ready for that gunfight. And as you can see, he wasn't even ready for that. So I'm also checking my back. I've got dead silence on because I want to be able to hear the enemy's footsteps much louder and I don't want them to hear mine. Now I'm flashed and don't panic when you get flashed. Just duck down just a little bit and just wait it out. And as you can see, I was able to take that guy out. Now I'm going to switch my positions because I don't want the enemies to be aware of where I'm at. And as you can see, I did take out that enemy pretty easily. Now, let me back it up here. And this was actually part of my tips and tricks for my movement video that I posted a couple weeks ago. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure you check that video out. I'll leave a card on the screen that you can click on. But instead of just running around this corner, I'm going to actually do a slide cancel mechanic where I'm able to slide and basically break the opponent's camera and catch him by surprise. So basically, I'm going to pop up out of nowhere from his point of view, but on my point of view, it doesn't really look like much, but it is very effective and something you need to practice doing right there. And as you can see, he had his gun down. He wasn't ready. Now, I'm not going to push just yet because I know that there's enemies inside of this building. And as you can see, my teammates got taken out. I'm going to wait for this guy to come out and grab those tags. And I basically baited him into getting that. Now I'm on a streak right now. I've got my VTOL. And another small detail that you may have missed is to stagger your movement. Now, I know based on the compass that there are enemies in that warehouse area. So let's play it back really quick. So as you can see, that compass right there, it tells me that there are enemies in this south area right here. So I'm going to stagger my movement just so that it's harder for them to get a shot on me. Then I'm going to stem shot and I'm going to continue to proceed to retreat because I want to be able to call in this VTOL. But first, I'm going to go ahead and check my lines of sight to get another kill because I know that there was someone there who was aiming down sights on me. So now I'm able to call my veto. I'm gonna call it directly in the middle, just so that it can give me a bit of a buffer and a bit of a chance to reset my positioning. And my veto is gonna serve as a sort of distraction, if you wanna say. Now, another thing I wanna say about this interaction right here is that yes, I was flashed and there was actually a grenade that was being thrown. So of course, I wanna avoid that situation. And going back to what I said earlier about how you just don't wanna panic when you're getting flashed is look how fast I recover from this and I come down here and again I also jumped around this corner I didn't know for a fact that he was gonna be down here but the simple fact that I made this jumping around the corner maneuver it gave me a better chance at survival so I did see a guy here I did miss my shot now I'm pre-aiming down this line of sight once again now the thing about my positioning and why I'm so aware to pre-aim down these sites is because I'm in their spawn right now actually they're spawning on the opposite side of this building and how do I know this? Because all of my teammates are on the opposite side. So that must mean that I'm deep in enemy territory right now. And I really need to stay on my toes. And that's something you got to pay attention to as well. So now I've got my advanced UAV. So from here on out, it's pretty much just follow those red Doritos and red dots. And also playing smart at the same time. Don't go directly head on to the enemy. Let them come to you first. So as you can see, this guy comes in. He has no idea that I'm here. I did a little drop shot. Again, another movement mechanic you need to learn. Now, as I see this guy approaching the building, I decide to go in for the flank. Now I'm going to slide. I miss my shots, but I come out again with another jump shot. And I'm on a really good streak right now. I'm on a ruthless. So now I'm going to make my way to the opposite side of the map to rotate accordingly based on where the enemy position is. But I'm still pre-checking every line of sight just to be sure because even if you've got the advanced UAV, it's never a sure thing. So my teammate gets taken out up there. So I throw the C4 to be able to get that easy kill. I see one guy in there spawn, take him out. Now I believe there is one more guy up here as I recall from the past experience there and as you can see he did take me out with my teammate and that's exactly what i was talking about how even if you have the advanced uav it's still not a sure thing now for me i was just personally being reckless you know like looking back on this gameplay i think i could have handled that situation a little bit better so i'm being shot here i'm trying to figure out where it's camp coming from and i did eventually find out so i went ahead and threw that c4 instead of trying to challenge him with my gun yes i died right there but let me back it up really quick all right so i'm being shot right here now the, my first question is where did that come from all right so here's an indicator that you also may not be aware of is that this red hit marker right here will tell you everything you need to know and that's how i was able to locate him in the window even if i didn't see him previously so let's go ahead and see watch how it just follows and moves and that's how i was able to locate the shooter's positioning 
So as I come down here, I actually did get flanked by this guy. He got a pretty lucky shot on me on that head glitch. But nonetheless, I'm still going to reset my positioning. I'm going to rotate accordingly to be able to get back on a streak. I'm turning my attention to this area because that's where I last knew where the opponents were coming in from. So I'm going to come up here for high ground. I'm going to pre-aim. I'm going to check all areas that are in my line of sight. So I was able to pick off a guy right there. And now I'm going to slide over here and quickly take out that opponent now that is another prime example of why slide canceling around corners is a huge advantage so here i am i'm going to approach again i'm going to slide quickly and then cancel and aim in and fire and get the kill so here i am again i'm back in the warehouse i'm looking to take control of this situation i turn on my dead silence for one main reason and that's because i'm here all alone on this end of the map i do not want the enemies to hear my footsteps again footsteps are so loud so that's why i cracked that dead silence. and as you can see my teammates are on the other side of the map here so that leaves one obvious thing which means that there's enemies around here most likely all right so i'm pre-aiming i'm still doing what i usually do i come up on a kill right there and there's another guy outside but i decide to go up here instead of challenging head on and now i'm going to jump on this window ledge and i'm going to slowly peek out here and try to anticipate the enemy's movement there was one other guy behind that crate i've got my uav and i do see that he's got footprints right there that lead to his location and i decide to withdraw myself from the situation instead of challenging and went ahead and rotate to get a different angle on the situation teammate just got a kill in the bottom office now i'm sliding here to pre-aim because that's where they're spawning in from again let me back this up i just want to explain why i know where to look at all times so here we go teammate just died on the mini map in case you missed that so now i'm going to pre-aim over here to investigate the situation and be ready for this gunfight i'm pre-aiming and there it is easy double kill right there i'm going to pre-aim down this line of sight i want to see everything unfold i noticed that my teammate did die on that mini map as you can see his, his tag is out there so i'm pre-aiming here again i'm going to let the enemies come to me another easy kill you don't always have to rush and go for those kills and one major thing i do want to point out is even if you know where they're spawning in from do not ever rush the spawn blindly unless it's completely safe and you feel very confident about the situation you just want to let them come out from their spawn and let them come to you now i knew to look here because i saw his bullet tracers right there as you can see it's plain and clear as day so i'm going to pre-aim over here and i'm going to let him come to me he had no idea i'm being as stealthy as possible I've got my VTOL now, and I'm looking to capitalize on this streak and continue on to get my advanced UAV for the second time. So right here, I'm contemplating, should I go into their spawn or not, or should I call in my VTOL? So right now, I make the conscious decision to call in the VTOL, but first, before I cross this little area right here, I'm going to quickly glance to my right. And I'm going to slide into this corner. Yeah, notice again, when I'm switching between location and location out in the open, I never just run casually across to from point A to point B. That's something you also have to get used to as well. And as you can see, I'm always pre-aiming down my lines of sight. Regardless if I know if there's an enemy or not, I just never want to be taken out by surprise. Here I am again in my power position. Even the Infinity Ward devs talked about how they designed these maps for power positioning. And this is a good example right here. This is probably the best power position area in the map. And this is an area that I typically like to hold down just depending on the rotations and where the enemies are spawning in from. And as you can see, I do have another Another great vantage point so now i'm gonna turn my attention to this area teammates got the area above me right here so i'm gonna fill in this area correctly by going down to the bottom here so that we have more ground covered in case there are enemies that want to come down here so i'm gonna come down here again i'm gonna jump around the corner instead this time and pre-aim down here and i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait for enemies to pop out because that's where they're spawning in from based on the location of where my teammates are coming from so again there's nothing there i'm gonna close this door just in case so i can hear if there are enemies coming in now again i'm gonna jump on this ledge and before before I do that, I'm going to quickly glance over here just to make sure nobody's camping in that window. And again, I'm sliding around corners. I'm checking the office. And as you can see, I did pick off one enemy right there. So here I am again. I'm slowly creeping around the window because I'm hurt right now and I don't want to get picked off unexpectedly. And I was able to get that guy. He just came out of his spawn. I saw this guy's bullet tracers once again. So after this scenario, watch this these bullet tracers are a dead giveaway of where i should be paying attention to to get the easy kill and as you can see i got him right there i now have my dead sounds activated and i did activate it now they just threw a nade 
There's a cruise missile coming through, so I'm going to close these doors just to be 100% sure that I don't die from that. Somebody threw another nade at me. I'm literally one kill away off my advanced UAV. I just want to get this advanced UAV. So I decided to leave that situation because I don't know where they could be coming in from. So that's why I went ahead and switched my location there and I was able to take out that guy going into the office. And unfortunately, I did die. Since I wasn't using monolithic suppressor, I'm pretty sure that gave away my positioning. And that's why it's very important to always check every line of sight, go back and forth between location and location to double check. Now, this guy's coming up towards the stairs. I went ahead and anticipated his movement. I tossed that C4 because I just didn't feel like reloading. And plus, it was just an easy kill. Now, there's two enemies below me. I'm going to let this guy run in front of me. I know that there's another one here. You know, I got a little too aggressive there, and that's why I died in that situation. So as we come to a close on this gameplay, I do want to say make sure to leave a like on this video if you do enjoy these breakdown videos so I can keep bringing the same content that you guys want to see. And if you're interested in having me review your own personal gameplay, there's going to be a submission link in the description down below where you can fill it out. It's super easy and I'll be able to give you some tips and tricks based on your personal gameplay if you're interested in that. And make sure to subscribe if you're new around here so you can make your way back to the channel join the turbo nation make it official today and i will see you guys in the next video peace